Hi, so this will be a video about replacing the extruder on an AnyCubic Predator. So this isn't a really critical replacement, but it's got some benefits and I want to show uh, everyone uh, how easy it is to uh, swap it in. It's a fairly cheap replacement, costs about $35 and it'll take less than an hour to swap these parts in. Uh, the parts you're going to need are a Bontec BMG extruder, or in this case, a clone. Um, and you also need a uh, the smallest pancake stepper you can. LDO makes a high quality uh, stepper. Uh, in this case, I just, again, use a cheap, uh, the cheapest clone I could get. Uh, all of this together will cost you about $35. And it'll take less than an hour to put in. Uh, you'll also need some M3 um, bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Uh, so... The reasons that we want to replace this, or the benefits you get for this, um, the first one is that the BMG, I'm sorry, the uh, Titan, um, only has a single um, uh, drive gear for the uh, filament, and it is a, a flat cut gear, so your filament is only getting grabbed by from one side instead of two, and it's with this flat gear. So this is going to cut into your filament and make it an ob a... Um, Instead of a round shape, it's going to squish it and put these huge teeth marks in it. A lot of people have trouble with that. Uh, and then, of course, it's only geared on one side. Um, with the BMG, uh, the BMG has much cooler, um, much cooler uh, um, teeth for the filament. It has this um, semicircular cut-in shape with uh, really fine teeth. And then, of course, there are two of those. Here's the other one in there. So these mesh with each other, and they pull on the filament on both sides at one time. So you could, this is under a lesser tension. It's not, um, it's not held together as, uh, or tensioned as firmly, and it won't deform your filament quite as much. So uh, there are some benefits there. Um, the last benefit is actually the weight. So uh, this guy weighs uh, a good bit less. So uh, you can see the difference in motor size as part of the difference. Uh, but the other difference is actually the uh, stamp steel bracket is um, a lot heavier. So we'll throw this in here. Oh, we can measure this real fast. So uh, the stock extruder is uh, so the stock extruder is yeah three hundred and twenty six grams. Uh, the uh, replacement, which is better quality for your filament, is. 233 grams. So you're saving 100 grams or a tenth of a kilogram by doing that swap. No, that's not a whole lot, but uh, that little bit of weight reduction does help. And so um, if you look how this is mounted in the printer, it is actually mounted on these springs uh, and it's mounted on the motion system. So this is moving with the motion system. Now it is dampened by the springs and the, the uh, weight is split between all three carriages. So the weight is not quite as big a factor as some other areas in your printer, but it still does matter. It also has additional benefit of this being lighter will reduce the um, tendency for your, your head, or your effector in arms and motion system to drop on its own when it loses power or when you turn the printer off. As you do some other modifications I'm going to go over in the near future, um, such as uh, uh, 0.9 degree motors, your effector and motion uh, system is going to want to drop much easier under its own weight. So reducing the weight here does help. Uh, now, I'm not going to go over um, all of the assembly tips for this. Um, you know, the kit has a set of instructions for putting the BMG together. And so all you're doing is putting the BMG together. Uh, you're putting the bracket and the motor together, just like the instructions say. Um, I will give a couple quick tips, though. One is that the needle bearings in this guy here, you push the shaft out, there's a two There's two sets of needle bearings. They are not lubricated when you'll get, especially with these cheap clones, they're not lubricated. So you need to use some sort of white lithium grease or uh, PTFE grease. I'm using Super Lube, which is PTFE based. Um, so you need to lubricate that when you're doing uh, the assembly. Uh, let's see what else here. Um, 
uh, if you are replacing, uh, if you're going to do the full upgrade with this motor, which I do suggest, these motors typically are not wired the same as your Predator. And if you're savvy, you can go look at the uh, wiring diagrams for the differences. But I will just show you the difference, the change you'll, the wiring change you'll need to make. So you'll need to take the stepper um, pin or the stepper um, output, uh, the, the motor connector here, and you'll need to alter them in just in the way as shown here. So green, blue, black, and red. So you'll need to you'll need to pull on this little white area right here, pull it open while you pull the wire out, and you'll need to make the changes in the wiring here. This will make the direction and the motor work correctly. If you don't do this, this motor won't actually turn. It'll make bad humming noises and won't go anywhere, uh, and uh, you could end up with it uh, going the wrong direction also. Uh, the other thing is that if you replace this motor, you're going to find uh, possibly that this motor runs hot. I haven't really checked on this with the stock firmware. Um, I have replaced the uh, main board and firmware with mine and adjusted the amperages for the motors to make sure they all run cool. As a general tuning tip, when you replace parts on your printer, you want to check the motors. You want to make sure that they're running maybe a little warm, but they should not be hot. If you check on this extruder later when you're printing, you put your hand on it and it's hot and you can't hold it, it's so hot, then you're putting too much amperage through the motor. Uh, there are methods, depending on your main board, on adjusting amperage. Uh, the Stock Tri Gorilla board probably has potentiometers on it to adjust uh, amperage. Um, I'm running a replacement Marlin 2.0 board and it has uh, amperage adjustments in the firmware or on the screen on the printer. So you can adjust them on the screen. On my Marlin 2.0 board with two, two 2209 drivers, I run this motor at half an amp, 500 milliamps is the TMC setting for this. Uh, so uh, I think that's uh, going to be it. Uh, you do not need to change the E-steps, the um, extrusion rate on this extruder. This extruder has the same exact or approximate extruder extrusion rate as the Titan. Uh, I always tell people they need to do their E-steps and make sure that the filament coming out of the extruder is what you expect it to be. But this should perform, uh, this, should, this should move about the same amount of filament as your Titan. So you probably will not need to do an adjustment with this. Um, so I know that was lengthy, wordy, uh, but I hope this helps you. And uh, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, it helps me motivate me to make more uh, videos like this. And um, we'll see you next time.